Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new season and a new series of The Long Dark with me, Unite the Clans. If you're brand new to this game, if you're brand new to my channel, sit back. I'll talk more about both those things very shortly. If you have been around for a while, you were excited for this. And I actually wanted to start here on the home screen because it's pretty relevant. The last challenge we did in Season 1 and Season 2, you start here, the Trapper's Cabin in Mystery Lake. For us, for the first half of this season, that is our destination. That is our target. And if you see the long neck rifle sitting in front of the cabin there, leaned up against that, that, uh, that little pile of rocks, I forget what they call them. That is the thing we are after. So, let's take a look, guys. My favorite way to play the game is the challenges, and we are going to start a new challenge. In Season 1 and Season 2, I did the Hopeless Rescue. Failed once, then succeeded. So, 4 out of 5 difficulty. Season 2, gonna be 5 out of 5. We are doing the Hunted Part 1, the Hunted Part 2, and I think they teased at some point the existence of a Hunted Part 3. I don't know if that's ever coming. But here's the thing, guys. Hunted Part 1. The old bear is after you. Nothing can kill him but the trapper's old bear killer rifle. Get to the trapper's cabin before the bear gets to you. We will be doing this, and we will be getting it going. So this is challenge called Old Bear. So guys, I had some requests for a face cam in this season, and I thought about it, and I tried to set it up this morning, and as good as it would be for this exact moment, jeez. I decided not to do it. It takes me out of my takes me out of my element. For me, this series is about uh, waking up first thing in the morning and recording while my mind is sharp and while I have a very good chance at survival. This one starts with the bear mauling us, guys. And as fun as it would be to see my face freaking out at this, I think for me, turning on the lights and, and having to worry about that extra element is only going to stress me out. It's only going to take away from the series. So we start in dire conditions, guys. As soon as basically I... I I level out here and stand up. I gotta head into my inventory, stop this blood loss, and deal with the potential infection risk from this old crap bear. So we apply a bandage. My foot is all messed up. Interesting. We are going to apply this old man's beard, which is like a sort of a, a lichen that grows. And we have one safe spot right nearby. Um, because I have already stopped the bleeding, I think I have a second. Uh, to gather up some things, and, and this challenge, guys, is going to be very different from Season 1 and Season 2. The Hopeless Rescue Challenge was a race against time. You had seven days to create, to complete a co crazy journey. That is awesome. Those are great, great things to find. Let's get down in this basement, okay? Um, in this, once I am in here, the bear cannot touch me. So, it's basically the whole point of this is get from A to B, and when you're at B... Sleep as long and rest up as much as you need. And chances are when you walk out to get to see, there's going to be a bear waiting for you. And you have one real defense against the bear. Uh, and it's the thing that we lusted after. Well, that sounds wrong. It's the thing that we quested after for all of the previous seasons of, of TLD, which is, whoops, which is the distress pistol. So we get this and we get five rounds. This is the only thing in the game that can scare away a bear. So having this and being prepared to use it, uh, for us, this means basically we can stop, rest, and recharge five times. And f five times I can step out of here, scare away the bear, and continue the journey. But the sixth time, I have no way of scaring the bear away, guys. I have no chance. So are we warm enough? Let's take a look at... Obviously not. Oh my god, I'm naked wearing running shoes. Okay, put away, put away this. All of our clothing got wrecked. Let me uncrouch, and let's see what we can find clothing-wise. To help warm us up. Sorry guys, I've been playing a different game and I keep clicking the wrong dang buttons. <laughs> Try to get myself set up here. Sports socks. Oh, and you can hear me dying in the background, guys. Let's go ahead and put this clothing on and we gotta sleep. So, uh, down vest, sweater, uh, gloves, two pairs of socks, and a pair of pants. Oh man, we look like a total hobo. And, and in our inventory is a bedroll. This thing. Let's place it down and we gotta sleep at least... Whoops. Let's sleep for like at least two, uh, two hours should be fine. And we'll rest up a little bit and then we're going to loot this cabin and we're going to think about our next, basically the next leg of our journey, guys. So when I did this, I tried this out um, recently just to see what it would be like. And, uh, and the weather turned really bad really fast. And that can change this thing so much. Can change the whole dang game so much. 
Um, so I should say if you're new to The Long Dark, this is the most Canadian game ever made, if you have to ask me. It is a wilderness survival game set in the frozen north. You are not fighting zombies, you are not dealing with anything sort of unreal. I mean, the actions of the bears and the actions of the wolves probably aren't the most realistic. But in general, this is a game where the weather is your biggest enemy. Oh, thank gosh. That will keep away a wolf, not a bear. And we're going to need some tinder for our fire. Let's see if there is, there's sometimes a knife in this place. No, nope, we got a we got a crowbar. And mittens. Shoot, I already got a pair of gloves. Crap. So these simple tools will help you repair things like your crowbar, uh, but we are not playing the long game. We are playing the short game. We are uh, playing A to B. We're, we're trying to get this thing done. Um, and, uh, yeah, and, and we need to, we need to, uh, okay, so I have more gear, I'm gonna break down a couple of these, uh, it's gonna take a little longer with my hand than it would if we had a knife in the inventory, and at some point, we're gonna need to sleep more, I'm thinking, if you look at our, 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 basically we have four things we need to worry about, temperature, tiredness, thirst, and hunger, thirst is the next big one, I'm hoping, we're not gonna find water around here, are we? Oh yes. Okay. Well, that might that might mean that we can we can rest up a little more. So uh, let's take a look. Clothing wise, I'm going to put on that scarf. I am going to choose between these two gloves. I'm going to wear those, and these we will just hold on to for now. And then if we go and take a look at our clothing, guys, you will see that that bear attack just ravaged us. Um, I can spend 20 minutes and get some cloth out of this thing. And I think this is a wise thing to do, guys. I think it's wise for us to, to sort of get this stuff. How long does it take you to harvest? Ten minutes. That's a good deal. I'll take that. And we can use this cloth to rip, along with the sewing kit that we found to repair our other gear, um, which is fantastic. This, I think, will take... Ah, it's worth it. Let's do it. Um, and I think what's going to happen, guys, I think I'm going to spend the whole day down here. Am I? Or do we go? Maybe we don't. Okay, so here's the here's the tough thing with this challenge, guys. That's my that's my health in the bottom left. Even though I've recovered in a couple categories, I have not recovered health wise. Um, so we're gonna need to make and improve our gear as we go. There's a sort of a catch twenty two as you play this game, though, because a lot of this gear is not that good, and you may replace it as you go. Wool mittens are great, but those are brand new already. These pants are great, so they could probably use a repair job. Let's see, it's going to take us 30 minutes and a piece of cloth. By the end of this, we're going to be super tired and starting to get failed. Let's try again. Super tired and starting to get thirsty, and the sun is getting low in the sky, so I don't know, guys. I think there is one spot nearby, if the weather's good enough, that I could zip us over to um, before uh, before it gets dark. And then at least we make a little progress. At least we have we have traveled from one area to the next. So we're starting, guys. We need to make a long journey. We are starting in Decent Down Vest. Good stuff by me. I've done some repairs. I feel better about the gear that we have. Uh, let's take a look. We are very tired and very thirsty. I think... Uh, I think I'm going to drink the water that we brought here. And we'll worry about... Oh, oh sorry, guys. Uh, let, me, let me hop in the inventory. It takes me a little while when I haven't played the game. Uh, let's drink this first, because that'll give us a little nutrition. That's a Mountain Dew Summit Soda. I think they call it in the game. And we'll wash the rest down. That's a big thing of water. Hopefully we got a little left at the end of this. And so I'm I'm tired. That is my that is my big issue right now, right? I think if I can avoid, like I said, I know this map well because these are the same areas. This is some of the reverse of the journey that I've done in the past. So I'm going to break out this flare just in case of actually, you know what? Let's bring this thing. In my experience, and it's loaded. Perfect. In my experience, the bear will give you a break coming out of this first place. But in general, every time we go into a building, every time we rest up, every time we find shelter, he will be waiting for us on the other side. And as soon as we come out, there's a bear there re ready to ruin our life. Okay, so I need to figure out, I think, I always turn the wrong way coming out of this place. But um, I think I think I need to go this way. See a bear? See a wolf? I don't. Yeah, I know you are, bud. Oh, okay. And learn... Okay, do this. Put away the gun. I said put away the gun. Put away the gun, please. Otherwise, he keeps bringing it out. Put... It's so frustrating. Every time you do anything, he pulls it out, pulls the hammer back, releases it. It's really annoying to have the gun. I would like to keep the gun in my hand, but I also do not want to deal with that annoyance. Okay, so somewhere over here are a couple of climbing ropes, and there should be a little cabin hiding down below. Uh, we are... 
currently in Pleasant Valley, and it looks like bad weather's blowing in. It's the direction we need to go to, and if I can remember exactly where the climbing ropes are. Ooh. Are painkillers one of the items in the old inventory? Let's take a look and see if we already have those. We do. Okay, so that means we can be a little bit more aggressive, guys. It means I don't... Ooh. Okay, let's just, let's have a quick look and see if we find the rope. Because with the painkillers, you can kind of like hop, skip, and jump your way down the side of a cliff. Um, this has got to be the way to go. I think this is it. It's been, a, it's been a while since, and I've never done this sort of in reverse, guys. Um, I maybe spent five minutes playing around with this challenge, trying to familiarize myself with, with how it starts and what I might need to know, what I might need to be prepared for. Um, but I don't really know much about it. Uh, so, uh... Okay, so guys, we have a brutal journey on our hands. We got a long... Whoops, why wow, God. Learn to click the right button, UTC. It's been a while since I played TLD, guys. We did a series. We did a season two over Christmas. And um, for you guys, for a lot of you guys, my idea was keep you company. And I hadn't played the game in a while, and I wanted to. Wintertime makes me want to play The Long Dark. It, it makes me need to play The Long Dark. This game calls out to me this time of year. I personally live on a farm in Canada, and um, we had minus, let's take a look, I don't know if it tells us temperature, no it doesn't really, we had minus 28 Celsius recently, which is uh, I think close to minus 5 Fahrenheit, oh, okay, so, so there you go, sprained wrist, this is, so, this is why people wanted, well one person, sorry Kai, wanted face cam, but I decided not to do it, so we're going to take these, this should heal us up, and so when you have these painkillers, it makes you a little tougher, if I didn't have painkillers, I would not have tried that because I know how easy it is to get messed up doing something like that. And I thought I was headed for some climbing ropes and for the draft dodger's cabin, um, but I don't think I am unless the draft dodger's cabin is somewhere straight down here. I definitely haven't come down ropes. Uh, so I left very tired, and my, my thinking was that I will go to the one place that's right nearby where I know I can sleep and keep an eye, guys. I'll probably sprain another wrist or ankle hopping down this thing. Every one of these has the chance of messing me up permanently. So let's have a look around. I'm sure I'm sure it's in this area, even if I came a weird way to get it. I would think it's back this way. Um, so I, I was going to say, I think I told the people at the beginning, if you're new to my channel, sit back and hang out. Assuming that you are still here, if you're a new person, let me tell you about me. Um, I love the game. I am not an expert at this game. Um, it kicks my butt with some regularity. Uh, um, almost every time I play, it kicks my butt. But I adore it. And um, for this series, I've decided, I decided starting with Season 2, change up the format a little bit. I am not going to go to big trouble editing this. I like to record it first thing in the morning when my mind is fresh. And because of the nature of this game, because you only save when you sleep. Where have I come to? Where is that little cabin then? It must be over this ridge. Okay, and we are so tired I can't sprint. Um, but uh, for for me... Okay, god damn it. Uh, so for me, guys, this, uh, this series, it means uh, a little bit more relaxed. Uh, I don't have to go to too much trouble editing, so you will get the occasional <clears throat> throat clear, or uh, depending on what I've eaten, a, a very quiet burp. Not much of a burper, but uh, it, it's, it, I don't put too much stress into it. What I will say uh, to the folks, there it is. That's the thing I was looking for. So I could have come down from some ropes. I think I took, went the wrong direction. Um, but this is the spot we're going to sleep for the night and rest up. I think I'm going to have to... Oh, I should probably make some... No, I got I to gotta get inside to warm up. I was going to say I should probably make some water, but maybe we'll find a can of pop or something inside. I just saw something on the horizon up there. It's probably a, a, a stump. But just in case, I mean, so this is the thing, guys. I have five shots with this thing. Every time you sleep and come out of a building, the bear is probably there. See how annoying that is? Every time I pick something up, you got to put this gun away, click the hammer. It makes me just want to put it away, which is not smart because a bear could come out at any moment. But I get annoyed by that. Fix that animation, guys. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know, guys. So so here we are. This is Draft Dodger's cabin. We could spend time here, but when we come out of here, the bear's probably going to be waiting for us. And like I said, I got five chances to scare his big old furry butt away. Um, and we really didn't make a ton of progress, so I might have been better off just sleeping in that dumb basement. Um, 
Oh, and you can hear my heartbeat. That means I am really getting close to close to rough shape here, guys. I'm warming up. Let's take a look at our clothing. You can see a lot of it's wet. Let's go ahead and put this on. Because I'm going to bed for a while, um, I'm going to leave all that wet clothing on. I think it'll dry. I'm going to take this granola bar, and I'm going to sleep. It's about to be sunset, so let's make it as long as possible. I'm going to wake up here. Actually, I'm going to wake up thirsty. I know that, so let's go ahead and down some water. Uh, let's drink this, and then we'll sleep. Okay, right here, and sleep as long as a man can sleep. And chances are we're coming out face to face with old bear. So hypothermia risk is healed. I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night most likely, guys, and I don't really have a, a light source. So let's see. Yeah, it's still late. I'm very thirsty. We have some of the supplies for a fire. I don't really have any tools. Oh, insulated boots. These are going to be good for us, guys. So we actually have to make a tough call. If you have a look... I uh, see that right there. That is the amount of speed that I lose by wearing these running shoes. None. I lose 12% of my mobility wearing these big, bulky, warm shoes. Uh, but I guess we'll just have to play it by ear. If I'm getting cold, we put on the, those big boots. And you know what? For this moment, when I'm not running anywhere, we're going to do that. And I think... Uh, as much as the bear is probably waiting for us out here, I gotta get a fire going, otherwise... Oh no, I guess I have some water. Here, drink. Oh, this is perfect. I don't think it's gonna let me sleep more. And this means we can wait to worry about water. Uh, will you let... I don't think you will let me sleep more, right? Oh, well, okay. I should try to sleep longer. Uh, chances are, guys, we're just gonna have to kill a little time until the morning, and I'll set out when the sun is up. That is one thing that I played differently, because I'm playing for a YouTube audience that I am uh, myself. Okay, not tired enough. So let's go here. We'll pass time one hour, and then hopefully I'll eat some food, sleep two hours, finish off my water. Let's see here. Drink this. and I don't, So some of the food items will actually give you uh, additional water. Some, like these crackers, will take away your, your uh, water, It'll basically make you more thirsty. Um, and the little percentages there are the sort of the quality of the item. Some things are more likely to make you sick. If you see a low percentage on a piece of meat, for example, watch out. If you see a low percentage on some crackers, chances are the, the crackers aren't going to make you all sick. Uh, they're just not... They won't. Uh, they'd have to be really horrible crackers to, <laughs> to make you give you the old food poisoning. I think I am... There. So let's try clicking on the bed and let's see if we can sleep another two hours. Three? I don't think it'll let us, guys. Uh, we're going to wake up just because we have slept throughout most of the day. So sun's kind of coming up. I'm going to pass. I'm going to, okay. So is it light enough that I can work on improving some of my clothing, potentially? So uh, what do I have that I'm going to be keeping around clothing-wise? Okay, these pants. Let's work on fixing these up. Okay, so I need some cloth. Um... Ooh, I don't have much. Okay, so here's what I have. This is this is such a time-consuming one, though. I have two bed rolls. Uh, you can spend 90 minutes and get a stupid amount of cloth out of this. So we're going to do that. And that will bring the sun up for us. And it means we probably don't need to spend time repairing. But uh, how's, my, how's my food and water? I'm starting to get thirsty. Uh, let's see about doing a quick repair job on our pants. These pants are great. Uh, this is another stat. See that 8? Eight? That 8%? Let's compare on the gloves. I get 1% uh, from these. I get 4 from those. That is armor, basically. Defense against the attacks. These boots do a good job. But things like this scarf won't help you at all when your face is getting chewed off by a bear. So I'm going to take a sec, see if I can spend a half hour repairing these work pants. Fingers crossed it'll work. And then we set out, guys. We set out on the next leg of our journey. Ooh, decent work pants. Awesome. Okay. So here's the thing, guys. We have uh, to cross Pleasant Valley next. Uh, in the middle of Pleasant Valley is the old farmhouse. I think we need to plow past that, and we need to go on to Signal Hill or beyond that to a cave. We have the Basically, we have everything but the water, and at some point, I'll light a fire and fill up on water. Uh, did I miss something over here? No, that's just a coffee mug. So for us, before we set out in the morning, I'm going to grab this, this pistol. It is fully loaded, and we're going to make sure, if we're ready... Or if the bear's waiting for us, that we're ready for him. So leave the cabin. And I do know where to go from here. I know... I know where... So he's usually right here. 
ready to mess you up. Keep your eyes open, because if, if he's not right here, he's going to come around a corner at us. When I think I'm running away from him, I'm going to come around a corner. He'll be ahead of us. Oh, gosh. Oh, there he is. Okay, so here we go, guys. This is it. He's going to charge us. No, that didn't work. Oh, it did. Okay. Okay, so I scared him, but he just kept coming straight. Wow. Okay, so I say we run while we've got this. Like I said, we only get five of those. I don't want to waste two on this leg of the journey. So I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, okay. Quickly, inventory, clothing. Switch these for running shoes, please. Okay, and if you see, guys, as I sprint, see that little slice of red at the top? That is the amount that is affected by... Oh, come on, dude! Okay, guys, so this is not over. He's going to badly mess us up. But it's not over. God dang it, dude. I I guess I shouldn't have put those running shoes on. Don't change your shoes when you're running from a bear, you freaking doofus. Oh. Oh, idiot. Okay. This is going to be bad, guys, because I don't have bandages. I need to make bandages on the fly. So uh, we're back to the beginning of the god dang game. Oh, and we dropped our gun. Please pick this up. Uh, pick up that... What is that? Dog food I dropped? Okay, quick. Into the inventory. So once he does this, he leaves you alone for a minute. Bandage. I have. Apply. Apply. Uh, and I have antiseptic, which is great. Uh, so let's go apply this to the bear bite. Right leg. Left foot and right leg. Good lord. Okay. Pick up the gun. And look how cold I am now, guys. Uh, I don't know where I am now. I really don't. I need this firewood. I really don't know where I am, uh, but I'm going to run. That little slice of red at the top of the... Am I running towards wolves or deer? At the top of that sprint bar there, that is um, that is from uh, uh, the clothing. The bulky clothing will slow me down. I think I go this way. Oh, no, I don't know where I am, do I? Yes, I do. Okay, good, 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 good. So... Realistically, guys, we should get a bit of a reprieve from the bear, but we're also really, really cold. So, I wonder if... I don't think I have any caves to hide in, anything like that. I think if we're going to start a fire, we got to do it out here. Uh, and I don't have accelerant, which is going to make this sucky. And that's our percentage up there. Let's start the fire. I'm really low on water anyway, so warming up with this fire, taking a second to, to stop here is probably a good idea. I have to see which which bits of my clothing were destroyed by that bear, but uh, every bear encounter you get, he's gonna he's gonna. I mean, you need to find a safe place and and rest up in between those. So, it, ideally, either ugh, ideally either you get mauled by a bear or you fire off a flare. You don't want to fire off a flare and then get mauled by a bear because. You can only be mauled by a bear a couple of times, or you're dead. And you can only fire off a few flares to scare him. I can't believe that flare didn't... Did it scare him? And he just immediately recovered and chased me? I don't know, guys. I don't. Like I said, I'm a bit of a noob with the game. I, I don't spend a crazy amount of time playing, but I love it. And because I'm Canadian, I, I try and give it as much love and support as I can. Speaking of love and support, as I sip on a, my uh, coffee here... Uh, that last season, guys, the season I did over Christmas, um, the season I did over Christmas, uh, it, uh, it was great. It, uh, episode one's at 1300 views. So, uh, and then I think 900 on the next episode, um, and maybe 400 for the rest of the, the three, four and five. But either way, guys, that's, um, 1300 for me for a game that isn't Ark Survival Evolved. It, it's, it's good. It doesn't happen very often. Uh, that I that I get uh, people turning out to watch me play another game, um, and as time goes on, that's shifting a little bit. And it's the the downside of that is I think there's fewer people watch me play Ark, but whatever. I'm a happy man. Life is good, and I get to play the games I want. Uh, I am warming up a bit here, guys. Realistically, I need to sleep before I can heal up. Let's take a look. How'd we do, clothing wise? I think my running, sh yeah, my running shoes got trashed. Fine by me, okay. That's that's my own fault. That's that's just karma. So here, where do I go? Inventory, clothing, and I need to stay here to warm up. So that is ruined. Uh, so I can take a second and harvest that. 
I probably don't need to harvest anything. But we need to warm up here for a sec, guys. I'm not tired. Oh, man, these socks got so messed up. But like I said, we gotta, gotta try and heal up here. So a few repairs out in the open, not a bad thing. Because this is gonna keep us... Ooh, I think my fire's out. Yeah, my fire's out. Uh, I'm not warm yet. Uh... Okay. So this is this fire should be warmer than it's been in the past. I just put a bunch of crap light wood on it that should bring the temperature up, that should try and warm us up. Uh, these running shoes, actions, I can harvest them. That's going to take too much time. That's, that's for when we're tucked in somewhere safe. And so that's a 30 minute repair. What do we have on this fire? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's fine by me. Uh, so I say uh, repair this vest. And guys, this is so stressful for me. Um, but this is why I like the longer episodes. Right now we're 20 something minutes in. This would be the end of a standard YouTube video for me. Not today. Not today. And so we have the benefit, if you see that little shield with the, the twirl in it, uh, up at swirl, up at the top of the screen, that means wind protection. Um, and trying to warm up, that makes a big difference. Um, I can cook this up, which is great. I don't have a can opener yet, so it says, see that? Smashing open. So you're going to lose a percentage of your food, 25% by smashing the can, but then I heat up what's left of the old, these old pork and beans. And I can rest up. Now, uh, I did mention a particular destination in mind. I was hoping to make it to that signal tower originally. And if we eat this while we're hot, it will also help heat us up. I'm going to drink some water and then we're gone, guys. I think that's, I think that's it. Okay. Uh, 52 minutes left on this fire. I s okay, let's make a little bit more. Let's make a little bit more water. I think that's probably wise. It'll save us having to do this again, guys. It's the middle of the day right now, but um, I can't believe. I guess the bear will leave us alone for a certain amount of time after he mauls us. And until I sleep, that that health in the bottom left is not going to recover. So a single wolf attack, a single bear attack, and, and we're done. Um, I am fully recovered uh, in a lot of ways here. I have these gloves. I'm wondering if I should put them on just for the defense. They might save our lives defense-wise. Let's do that. And, okay. And so now I, I know where I have to go. Um, I think I do. Um, we got to go along here and under three individual bridges. And once I've done that, I, I uh, will know exactly where I am. Uh, like I said, I have I know I know parts of this game very well. Uh, I know the I know Pleasant Valley especially, and I know Mystery Lake, which are the two main regions that you you have to spend your time in here. Keep your eyes open for baddies, guys. But I like this. I like this area because it's a little bit harder for you to get ambushed, for you to get uh, get trapped. There just doesn't seem to be as many wolves down here, and I've never seen the bear come down on this river yet. Although, like I said, I in the regular game, the bear is kind of following a sort of following a path. So that was one bridge. We got to keep going along here, and I'm gonna lose my wind break. I gotta stay close to this thing. Uh, but this weather is not good right now. I'm going to run through this because I got no wind break. And I'll run until I get it again. And we'll hopefully try and stay warm. And we're looking for bridge number two up here. And this is where I rest up. I'll just do a little walking. Keep your eyes open, guys. Pleasant Valley, this, this particular part of the map, if you were seeing it um, in nice clear weather, um, it's, you'd see it. It's a very picturesque sort of agrarian, rural countryside. Am I still that tired? Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's roll. Come on, bridge number two. Okay, out of stamina. Shoot, get it right up against this then. Um, wolves are really plentiful in this place, guys. I, I'm, I find this is the place I've, I run into wolves the most. Um, the, the area that I wanted to go to is the signal tower. Now, every time we've done the Hopeless Rescue Challenge, that's been a stopping point for us, and we're usually chased by a wolf on our way there. Um, if you have the stamina, there's a way that you can get up there really efficiently, but I don't. So we're going to go, like I said, we're going to continue along this river uh, as far as, Lord, there, bridge number two, right? This is perfect. This is heart, Heartbreak Bridge, Heartbreak Ridge, I forget what they call this. 
Um, there's cards up top we could use. Yeah, Can't Heartbreak Bridge. Okay, perfect. I remember this spot. And now we are approaching the, the hypothermia risk level, but uh, don't worry about it yet. And that's stamina, guys. I don't know. The wind has shifted directions on us. I don't think I'm getting windbreak. It seems to be blowing straight down the, the pipe at us. I'll try and get up against this wall here. Wait. I'm not getting wind windbreak, am I? So cold I'm warming up again. <laughs> That's a good sign. Uh, okay, so so there's this thing um, in this game. Typically, you can find a rifle in a heck of a lot of places. Um, in fact, in, in this map, in this chunk of the map, I can think of two or three or four spots where you could probably go track down uh, the rifle. However, because this challenge is what it is, because it's this weird, unique challenge uh, where the goal is to find a... The goal is to find the rifle. Is that a... What is that? That's nothing. I think we're okay. Um, the goal is to find a rifle. They're not going to give you one anywhere but this one destination. Uh, bear? The bear's kept his distance. Okay, guys. He's just probably waiting for us at the next place I want to sleep for the night. So, there's a couple of different areas that I could... Uh, that I could go uh, to get some some shelter. Oh, right. I forgot. The other, the other frickin' bridge is at the top of this waterfall, so we gotta go. We gotta get off this track anyway. Um, but there, if, uh, there's a, a couple little, couple little hidey holes around here. I'm getting a little cover now. I think over here there is the potential for, so this game has a prepper's cache. Um, prepper's cache is basically like little, little shelters for, for the kind of guys who, disaster preppers. I briefly did that, I will say. I've had many various obsessions in my life, and for a brief time, am I that bad? Am I that cold? I guess because I started off so dead. Uh, okay, guys. I'm gonna, I think I know where I'm going, but, um, we're, we're in some dire circumstances now. I thought I would have more ability to get through this. If I try and start a fire now, I might die. So, I think I should just keep going until I find... No, lord, my vision's going blurry. What do we do? Uh, what do we do, guys? I don't want to die in this this early on. I'm going to have to throw this out and start a new recording. I don't think I could even start a fire out here if my life depended on it. I better try. I better find some shelter and try, because, uh... We're about to be dead, guys. Did I get shelter here? No. Where can I get some shelter? F f oh, wow, guys. I think we're gonna die. I think I blew it already. Yep. Okay, so we got one chance here, guys. This is, this is gonna take... I think I will probably die in the process of starting this, but if we manage to get it started, Come on. we might be okay. Oh, please. If ever you're going to give me one, gods of the long dark universe. I see, I, I wonder if this, this particular challenge is, is like, if you're guaranteed to have a bad storm on the next day, because I, I've tried it before, and that's what happens. Come on. This is so close, I gotta get it. There's no way it fails now. Fire started. Oh, we're alive, guys. Okay. We're alive. Uh, go in here. Throw in sticks. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow, guys. I am just, like, listing back and forth on the verge of passing out. I don't have any good food. I don't have anything. Oy. I can't believe we started a fire out here. This windbreak was kind of probably the key to it. I got two hours and 39 minutes here. But, I mean, what? What am I going to do? I can't... I can't put my bedroll down, right? I would... I would die, right? I would think I would die if I tried to do this. Oh, you can't place it on there. Anyway. Ooh. Ooh. It won't let me place it anywhere. Oh, yeah. There's a couple little spots. I don't want to do it. 
I'm just gonna sit here, guys. Uh, I'm going to sit here, and this may be a point where I need to edit the video. Let's see if I can not die. Alright, guys. I, I, I think I don't recover. I mean, I, I can stop the, the sort of, like, the loss of overall condition by warming myself up, but I don't think I recover unless I sleep. So... I guess... I mean, this is gonna kill me, right? Uh, let's just throw caution to the wind. Am I dead? Are we dead? We're not dead. Oh my gosh. I sleep another hour. Guys, this is a ridiculously crazy start. I'm looking at the map trying to figure out how I get you guys and me out of this situation there's still an hour on this fire i got more fuel i got no more fuel to add so another one of these is going to kill me guys the sun's about to god dang set and i'm sleeping on an ice river in a blizzard by a tiny fire and i took off all my clothes so that i could warm up i'm fully warm so i could dry out Let's put all this clothing back on. I can't believe that. Okay, so that's one of the wildest things I have ever done in this game, is, is the ability to survive right there. Uh, let's pick that up. We've got 28 minutes left on here. I'm, in, I'm still in brutal condition, guys, but I was so worried. Like, I just started leaning. I was so out of it. I just started leaning back and forth, and, like, I was afraid I was going to fall face first into the fire, which, that's it. Then I'm done. Okay. There's 26 minutes left on this. I don't know what to do. Um, yeah, I gotta go. So I mentioned there being a third bridge. Once I see the third bridge, I know where I'm supposed to go. So this is it. So we push on. We try not to get too cold too fast. And I need a place to sleep. A place to pass out. Somewhere off to my right is this signal hill. There's the third bridge. Okay, I think I can break off right up here. This will give me a little wind cover, I think. Or not. And we push on. Because because I have some temperature, because I have some health, I think we're going to be okay, guys. We're not losing condition until one of those is, at, is in the red. Um, but one bear, one wolf, dead. Ooh, ooh, I don't know where I am. Oh, yes, I do. This is good. This is good. This road will lead me to where I need to go. God, what a blizzard, guys. If we get to this spot, this is the best part of this challenge. Once I get in this building, we good. We're going to be fine. Uh, as long as I have some water, which I do. And um, I can stay in that building as long as I want. I could stay there a week if I thought it would help improve my chances of getting to the end of this challenge. Um, and good lord knows we need a, a good place to rest. How am I doing? I'm getting so cold so fast, guys. I'm gonna sprint. I really need to find... Really need to find the, the destination here. Because... Yeah. Yeah. I think I might die, guys. I, because this now... Now my health is going to start dropping again. And I am not there yet. I gotta make it to the top of this hill. Uh, I gotta make it up this this hill, avoid all wolves, avoid the bear, like this, what's the overall condition? I might be at like 6%, that's not a lot to lose, especially when you, you realize that like any lower than this and my vision starts to get blurry and I start to f lean left and right and not be able to stand up straight. So I see the path off to my left guys, I'm trying to cut, cut corners, I think I need to go up this way, but uh, but yeah, we're, I mean we're in in dire straits. This is brutal weather. I don't have the clothing to, to withstand it. I'm wearing my best stuff, right? Yes, I am. Okay, just run. Run. Run and see if you can make it, bud. Because once you're too tired, running is a horrific proposition. Because you're leaning left, leaning right, leaning left, leaning right. Come on. Vision's going blurry. Up here. Come on. Signal Hill. Find me a signal tower. It's right around this corner, guys. You'd see it now if it wasn't so... If the, if the conditions weren't so bad. Don't die. Come on, UTC. You can do it, buddy. What, an, what a start to this, guys. I'm sorry that I'm doing so badly, but 
That's it. There's a building under that signal tower, but the only way to get in it is to go all the way around to the fence on the other side, so let's let's see what kind of stamina I got left. I just gotta get inside. Uh, come on. Come on. Oh, man. Hear that noise? Okay. Oh, guys. I can't walk straight anymore. This is it. I'm down to 1% health. Get inside. Get inside, dude. Come on. No. Okay, open door. I think I did it. I think... I did it. I gotta lay down. I'll loot this place in the morning. Sleep. Uh, ten. Six. Oh. Wow. 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 I tell you guys. So, I think, guys, <laughs> I'm gonna make that episode one. I talked about doing this game in the mornings when my mind is fresh, when my mind is sharp. I barely made it. I barely made it. And now we're here in the pitch black of Signal Hill. I'm going to have to sleep more. I'm going to have to loot this place. And I'm going to save all of that for the next episode. So thank you so much for hanging out for episode one of The Long Dark Season 3. I love how many people watched episode one of The Long Dark Season 2. Go ahead, smash the like button, and I will be back in your life with another episode from this game, from this series, from this challenge in just a couple of days. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode.